Good afternoon and welcome to another week of weather with the weatherman, me. Um, so weather is is unpredictable. So I, last week I predicted that it would be very little, if any, chance of rain. I said it pretty much wouldn't happen and guess what? It did happen. So got to look and see that there's always possibilities of things changing, especially if you're given a weekly brief and you're going that far out things can change constantly. So I have started here. What we're looking at is we have remnants of the hurricane that came through down here. It looks like we're not going to have to worry about it too much. There's a lot of stuff that goes on between here. So it's probably not going to spend uh, send up a lot of rain or any humidity and moisture and stuff up to where we are up here in Abilene. But there is still a lot of stuff going on down here. So there's a lot of moisture from the Gulf that is moving in this direction. So there might be a chance for some rain. <clears throat> this right here is showing you basically going uh, using the weather channel their their predictions of movement up through the, till about almost four o'clock in the morning. Uh, it is 9.30 at night right now on Sunday. I apologize for this being late, but at least I'm getting it done earlier than I did last time. All right, so looking at the real-time map real quick with the stations that are in the local area. Uh, my station being right around here, we see that most of our wind is still going in this direction, and that kind of follows a trend. You see this right here. looks like the wind's kind of going up this way, too. So that, if things stay like that, then if the moisture wants to travel this far up, then we might be able to get some moisture. But again, it's going to be lengthy time before anything like that gets to us. There's a lot of time, a lot of ability for it to lose its moisture or, or other things that happen on that route. But this just kind of shows you a general trend. As always, we usually uh, we see a, a southern trend of, of wind, it, it seems like, for us. Going to our weather station, we see that this last week, uh, the last rainfall was four days ago. We got a total so far this, this month of 1.57 inches. Uh, 3.6 is how much total since the station's been going. Um, I should have wrote down how much rainfall we actually had on that day because for some reason it doesn't show it on here. I can go in here and, and try to look at this graph and everything, uh, but sometimes it's kind of hard to kind of read what's going on with it. I still haven't got to play with it that much. It just shows our total and our averages and stuff like that. So event rain, if we go back here, I guess we kind of have to expand this a little bit. How do we get it to go down? There we go. All right, so we go down. This is July 26, 26, 26. Uh, so it's going to go back quite a bit before we get to our event rain that we had. And it doesn't go back far enough for it. So that's something I can look into. This, again, is a, is a learning process. So we'll go back to that and look at it another time once I figure out exactly all the stuff I need to do for that. Anyway, going back to the dashboard real quick. Come on, let's go back. Alright, oh, there, there we go. Alright, so right now we're looking at a temperature of 84.9 outside. Um, it's up a little bit from yesterday, but not too much. The fill still is not too bad. So it really wasn't that bad today. Uh, the high was 95, so we're doing all right. Our, we had a peak wind today of about 13.6 miles per hour, and as you see, most of it comes out of the south. It kind of varies, but the majority of the wind, again, comes out of the south. Our pressure is 1,004.4 hectopascals. Again, it's the same as mill it's millibars also. Uh, our humidity is 53%, so... There's, there's moisture in the air. Uh, right now, obviously, we don't have any kind of worry about any radiation, so, um, solar radiation out because it's dark now. And the sun, it rose this morning at 6.51 a.m. It should rise tomorrow around the same time. And 8.42 is about the time that the sun set. Moon came out a little bit after noon, and it will set again shortly after midnight. 
So looking at our future cast, what's going on according to this, taking all the data that has been uh, gathered since the station has been put in and, and going with all the other stations in the area. Uh, we can look forward to the rest of the evening uh, getting cool down to maybe around low 74. Um, then it'll start increasing. Tomorrow's not going to be too bad of a day, which is good because I plan on going to Cap Rock Canyon State Park with the family. So it's supposed to be a high of 95 up there. Hopefully it'll be pleasant. You can see that it's going to be partly cloudy for the day and it's going to be high 95. Uh, on Tuesday, it's going to be a little bit cooler. It's going to be high 91. Uh, we have a 23% chance of rain. Maybe it'll rain. I, I don't know. As I continue doing this, I guess we'll find out more and more as we go and I, and I get more practice. I would say if there is any, it'll be very light, just some, maybe some sprinkles or a quick quick storm that comes through. Uh, we have a like uh, same amount of chance also on Wednesday. We have a little bit higher temperature uh, for a high of 95, and it's still going to be partly cloudy. And then we're looking at a sunny day on Thursday, low chance of, of precipitation, high that's 96.8. Going into Friday, we're going to have a little bit more clouds coming in. Again, all this stuff is probably coming off of the, of the Gulf since our winds are blowing that direction. That's probably where we're getting all, the majority of this coming in. It's going to be a high of 94.8, so not too bad. We have a 24% chance of precipitation again on that day. So the possibility of some showers going into our weekend. Now our weekend, we're going to be jumping up again. So unfortunately, we're going to be looking at starting the month, the the new month of August with a 99.8 going into 101.3 for the high on Sunday. So we'll see how it goes. And then on my next brief on Sunday, we'll see if we actually are going to be looking at these temperatures and if it's going to be another week like we had two weeks ago. Hopefully not. Hopefully it'll be a good start to August. My birthday's that first week of August. So I would like to go out and be outside at least without scorching. So... Anyway, so that's the weather brief from the weatherman, and have a good one.